questions. But let me take you through this digital marketing course that we have designed and how this is different from a lot of other courses that you have in the market. Because most of the other courses that you will see is emphasizing on the power of digital, is emphasizing on the knowledge part of uh, the different channels that are available. All of those things are important, but those things are easily accessible on platforms like you have so many data points which are available, so many guides which are available, videos which are available. So anybody who wants to spend a little time can go through this and understand. And also, this is one sentence that you should look at it where the Elon Musk talks about knowing a new subject or understanding any subject. So you need to create the subject as a semantic tree where you need to have your trunk and the big branches clear first and then you need to add the leaves and this is the reason why a lot of people who read but they are not able to use that knowledge to take a decision you must have seen in your company as well that there are many people who do a lot of reading do a lot of learning but then they are not problem solvers they don't come up with strategies they don't come up with solutions so that is a problem that can be addressed if you have a proper semantic tree for decision making and this is what we are very good at uh, because we have been doing this for last 15 years and we have been designing strategies for many big companies to small companies and if you give me 30 minutes I can build a strategy for any company and it's not because I am a you know the smartest of all but there is a structure that we have created in our mind so I can go step one to step you know, NF and find out many answers to the queries that I wanted to answer and then through that I can build a strategy around it and that is the exact thing that you can, you can learn that where to start, where to end and how do you create a flow for digital marketing okay so where do you start when do you do a competitor analysis why do you do a competitor analysis how do you see a buyer's journey and what step are important in the buyer journey i'll give you an example is many people do digital marketing and then they you know allocate almost 80 to 90 percentage of their money to create awareness that is they will go and they will spread the word about their business and then they will say that they're not getting returns in digital marketing but maybe creating awareness is the easiest thing in digital because you know the tg you can spend the money and you can reach out to people but after reaching out to people, what is the concern that people have in terms of creating consideration for your product? Like why should they buy your product? So maybe unless that is not fixed, creating awareness is not important. So at different phase of your business, you might have to do different allocation. Maybe the first phase of business, you are going to spend almost your 60% of your money in creating interest and consideration and you may be spending a 20-24% in <coughs> bringing new people to the website rather than spending 80% of people bringing to the website and only 20% you are investing into converting them. And these are things that we do with many of the clients that we work with and it's a very very structured process that you will get how much of investment like how do we invest uh, 2 crore rupees uh, on a yearly basis for our clients. How do we distribute the money into different buckets? What are these buckets? And when we distribute this money, how do our customers calculate the ROI? So because we will, we will have to answer our customers that if you are investing certain amount of money, how do we calculate the ROI? How do we calculate ROI from short term? How do we calculate ROI from long term? All of these queries will be answered in this uh, course and this course is about a 20 hour course that means we will have 10 sessions of uh, 2 hours each where we'll be explaining but meanwhile uh, between one course to the one session to the other session you will also be given a lot of reading material you will also be given some activities to do and that will be handled by professor Ranjan Dan's uh, his team and because we are highly disciplined by uh, Professor Ranjan Das and his team and Professor Ranjan Das is from IIM Calcutta he is one of the person who started the online training in um, 
I am Calcutta. We will be running all the courses through his system. Because currently we are on Zoom, but we will be running everything through his system. That means his team is going to moderate everything in terms of the case studies, moderate before even attending the session. You will have to go through the case study and share the case studies with us. And then there will be a team that will check the case study, help you improve the case study. And also uh, there will be attendance in between just to see that how many people are attending. So on everything basis, there will be a scoring that will be done by Professor Ajahn Das uh, and his team. And uh, he has been the pioneer in terms of uh, online training. And he has realized the good part and the bad part of online training where we uh, lack and that is why this interaction between sessions are very important. So overall 30% of uh, the work is through online session but 70% of the work is through offline reading, offline cases and also helping you further. And uh, I train at HP, I train at many other companies in India as well as abroad. So right now last week I had two sessions here in UK. And everywhere, uh, people find our courses very interesting for the reason that this is highly simplified. Like somebody said, honey, I'm writing a very long letter to you because I don't have time. And that is exactly what happens when you don't have time, you can easily write long letters and unstructured courses. But in order to make a concise course or a structured course, you need to really spend a lot of time in structuring it. And, and this is not just for course but we hire a lot of fresh MBAs and we train them. So we train them through these courses and we've been doing that for the last 15 years. So we know how to structure it so that somebody who joins our company can quickly learn the strategies of digital and are able to guide our customers in creating strategies without too much of background knowledge in digital, but still with a structure, they are able to do better. And that's where we are good at. And that's what you'll be learning through this uh, course. So I will be interested in looking at the queries that you have so that I can answer those queries one by one. Um, so you have the chat box. You can come on the chat box or if you want to, I think the chat box will be the easiest way. But if you are on a mobile and you are not able to type, it's okay. You can come on the uh, voice and let us know what are the queries and I will answer your queries one by one. So you want to uh, type in the queries or do you want to speak out the queries or uh, whatever is comfortable with you, please go ahead. So, so some of the, I think the common query that we had was the structure of the course. So the structure of the course is highly designed towards bringing the digital marketing flow that is from step one to step nth. How do you look at digital marketing strategy? And uh, towards the last four session, we will be covering details of the top channels, which includes SEO, PPC, social media, email marketing. So we are going to cover almost 12 uh, channels and we will give you the structure around these 12 channels. And before that, we will also put the whole structure of digital marketing that when we are doing a digital marketing strategy, how do you look at it step by step? That is what we will be covering. And in fact, on this Sunday's session, uh, all of you can join us on this Sunday session because we'll give you a brief about because the Sunday session I'll extend it for an hour or so because we are expecting a lot more people to come on the uh, Sunday session and I'll explain further on uh, the courses but then as I said that uh, the training on the, uh, the, the 20 hours is just 30 percentage of our overall training but apart from this you will almost get a 200 hours of reading and 200 hours of overall work and experiment that you can do and uh, I am more or less sure that if you participate in these courses 
full heartedly there is no reason why you should not become very confident about the digital marketing strategies whether you are doing it for your own company or uh, you are learning it to upskill so that you can go and do some better job uh, in any organizations that either you are in currently or you want to join it so this will give you immense confidence because um, that's the way we look at it if you close your eyes and if you can't see your subject that means uh, you will not be able to uh, see that subject okay so tanvir says what is the role of ai in digital marketing so these are things that we will cover but um, you know the way you should look at digital marketing is there is a core of digital marketing then there is a integration of digital marketing and then there are trends of digital marketing so when it comes to trends of digital marketing that's where ai is currently ai has not become a part of the core but if you see today's google adwords google adwords is run very in depth in terms of ai and we are also expecting that in few years uh, the ai and machine learning will help you to create advertisement by itself like last year uh, there were almost 6000 7000 ads created by many comp- uh, in, in by few companies which were primarily the nobody even touched the ads all the ads were created using machine learning for people so what we expect from ai is one is the amount of data and targeting which will be available to you can be a lot more automatic so today if you see the uh, advertising option that you have both in facebook google and by the way almost 63 65% range of your ad budgets are spent on google and facebook so if you see from the automated bid perspective that you just give it to google or facebook saying that i want more conversions and uh, google and facebook optimize it optimizes it for you that's where uh, the ai also comes into the picture and uh, previously maybe around 2 years back i was not at all confident in doing that in any of my advertisement i would always go with manual because i had more control and i had more optimization option with me but today i am a lot more comfortable in giving that option saying that automatically optimize my campaigns for more conversions or op- automatically optimize more conver- uh, my campaigns for the current tg so that i can get more views and this is where the current ai has uh, become very very effective where all the data from google and facebook is available and they optimize it to give you the results and that's one level of ai but the other layer level of ai that you can put in is at your level because uh, let me also explain you what we, what do you mean by ai so uh, around you know maybe 10 15 years back we did not had enough data in uh, the digital space and then people started creating data so there were plenty of blogs written there was plenty of activities being done and uh, according to the google ceo in 2003 alone the amount of data that we created was equivalent to the data that we created till 2003 from the dawn of the civilization so in one year we created so much of data and every year the data doubles and today whatever data that you see in the world 90% of the data is created in last few years so the amount of data that we created is immense and it is huge so the data that is created and the human consumption that we have we can't consume the data that is there now so between the data and between us the there is a layer that is required that will simplify the data for you and will give you more insightful data rather than just the raw data that is the layer of artificial intelligence that we are talking about now the data is so huge that even you are not able to put that data in different buckets that how do i separate these buckets and how do i uh, code in such a way that i get my reports but today the data will be able to process itself and give you the element uh, one of the thing is creating dynamic advertisement in google so you just give the url of the website and it will be able to figure out the right type of keywords for which you should advert run advertisement the right landing pages where it they should land and the some level of advertisement that can automatically come in from there and that is kind of the processing power and the ai power today advertising is offering so this is just one part of it and i will also show you some of the other examples where people are using the ai but i will um, suggest that 
the the glittering part of it and the future of digital marketing is only applicable for all of us if our core is right and we are going to emphasize a lot on the core uh, and once the core is ready and i will also give you the websites which which you should read to get all of these latest trends and as well as uh, learning about a particular subject if you want to learn like ai in ppc i will give you enough uh, videos and documents so that you can go through and read about it but that is only applicable for you if your core is clearly ready okay so you say it's automate digital marketing activities see automatic digital marketing activity is very much possible at certain levels but there are few things that um, is always you know a choice of the business because there cannot be a right and wrong now this is practically impossible that everybody automates their uh, uh, digital marketing and it works for you because marketing is about reaching out to your audiences and impressing them okay um uh, okay Uh, so, so Pallu says, "Kindly send me this video on my email." On sure, we will uh, surely do that. Not a problem. Okay. Uh, see the automation. Where you need to look at automation in digital marketing is there are elements like the one that we call it as marketing automation is basically uh, from the journey of a customer instead of you sending one email uh, at a time to people. Now you can create a whole tree of Uh, decision making that somebody who has come to this page and that page and then they opened that email then send them this new email so in that way those kind of automation is done but how do you decide your target group how do you decide the messaging that will go to the target group so optimizing that is still a very skillful job uh, that is where the convergence are going to happen and in fact i think uh, since my sh- screen is shared Let me see if I have the uh, screen available to me. I'll just yeah. So if you can see my screen, uh, this is where in digital marketing, maybe around five years, six years back, or maybe even a little longer than that, just creating a website or doing an advertisement was digital marketing because other people were not able to do it well. So if you could do it well. You were able to get the returns. So all of us were very busy in optimizing the adverts and optimizing the SEO and everything. But today, that is very much uh, you know, available to any pressure or anybody can optimize adverts or your advertisement or your SEO in a very easy way because all the information is available. And plus, Google and all the other platforms have shifted from data to signals. so they also understand what is right and what is wrong in much bigger sense rather than uh, some data set so now just creating advertisement or just creating website is not the key which can still be automated but what is more important is the messaging so you understanding the pg you understanding the channel and then you creating a message out of it i'll give you an example is when we are working for this yoga client so they provide yoga at home and in order to uh, you know create better conversion rate what we did is we divided that into multiple groups so one group was uh, gender so we separated male and female then what we did is we separated age groups into different buckets so we did uh, 13 to 18 18 to 24 24 to 35 in in that way and then we separated the locations where they have presence like they were in bombay calcutta and bangalore and some of the other places so now with these three combinations you have many tg that is available so out of this what we saw is that uh, males were not reacting good to yoga uh, at home okay because uh, yoga primarily is done by females 80% of the time it's only 20% at uh, the time that males are interested in yoga and that is statistics uh, so far in the market and then what we saw is uh, between the age group of 25 to 35 they were responding really good to yoga at home and uh, their 
what we did is we did further optimization and we saw that even 25 26 age groups are reacting more like a 23 and 24 age group so we put our bucket as 27 to 35 as one age group for female uh, and in calcutta delhi uh, bangalore mumbai everywhere they were reacting very good to yoga and the message that worked for them was is that yoga strengthens you from inside to strengthen the woman who did you and that message even without and when we put a image of a person coming to your home and doing yoga compared to a, a woman who is liberated and who is jumping in the sea and feeling the strength uh, the woman jumping in the sea was more converting for us rather than a, you know because the time you show somebody coming to your home and doing yoga so that be they have much more concerns rather than the support so and plus most of them had the concern of the female yoga trainers and you know so they procrastinate the decision making at that level but the age group between 13 to 18 they were interested in yoga not for strengthening themselves but they were interested in doing yoga for beauty and the people in bombay were interested in yoga but people in calcutta were not interested in yoga and same females between 13 to 18 so so 13 to 18 converted in bombay for us for yoga for beauty uh, and between same thing between 18 to 24 both in calcutta and bombay and delhi and bangalore everywhere it converted for yoga for beauty but in 13 to 18 it did not convert anywhere except that in bombay so if you see that those kind of segmentation can be done automatically but the message that what message should go to the customer is where the game is today so understanding the pg and understanding the message is very very critical for today's business and that's why um the leaders will be created okay so that we will be explaining further so that is what we need to understand that when we do digital marketing the uh, in depth of digital marketing that how do we divide every step like when we talk about awareness we have divided awareness into three part tg channel and uh, messaging how do we look at it how do we solve this uh, problem step by step that's what you will be able to understand uh, from our courses all right so i think um, on sunday we will be answering a lot more queries so since as i said by time when you pay right now and we have some meetings in uh, parliament today and this came up all of a sudden and i was not aware of it what the then that's uh, something a good opportunity for us to go and meet some of these people in parliament and um, i'll bring in all the knowledge and in fact i'll also share some of the exposures that we get when we deal with international markets okay like currently uh, there is a gdpr as a major concern happening across the european market which is the general data protection regulation and this is going to impact facebook google everyone and in fact facebook has already launched the gdpr you must have uh, got some emails from facebook about the gdpr uh, perspective that's something that we will be explaining it to you that how these things matter and uh, why these things are going to be more and more critical because the amount of data that you had access to will get reduced and also if you are marketing to a european country irrespective of whether you belong to european as a company you belong to european union or not but if you are marketing to a european customer you are also liable for the same lawsuit so that means people can sue you for up to the 4 percentage of your global revenue it can go up to a 20 million penalty so these are things that are happening all across the world and uh, deep, uh, facebook google everybody is getting up to you uh, up to these kind of laws and this is going to get implemented somewhere in may of the, this year and so that's like uh, a lot of preparations are happening around it so i'll explain it to you and i'll also explain it to you that how uh, the advertisement on google is uh, getting impacted like yesterday i met some of these people from the university of portsmouth where uh, they had been doing some uh, you know like amazing advertisement at sky um, sky tv where the advertisement was only shown to seven people and out of the seven people three people purchased and uh, what we are talking about is austin martin advertisement you know so where uh, this is only purchased so the advertisement is so 
targeted to people that people whose income is more than hundred thousand uh, euros in a year, plus who already have a sports car. So that kind of detailing can be done, and the detailing that is available to you in India and the detailing that is available in UK are two different things, even from a Facebook perspective. So I will show you that when you are running Facebook advertisement. How you should run Facebook advertisement, even if you are targeting two different locations. How you should separate it so that you get all of these data points available to you when you do advertisement. Okay, and these courses are going to be a way way more expensive than what it is right now. But since this is the early stage where we want to give away the knowledge and create the success stories for you guys, so that you can speak uh, about how you benefited and uh, many of the people who joined. Um, Many of the people who joined uh, us in terms of uh, the uh, you know company, uh, some of them got selected in Google, some of them selected in Facebook, and all of them were freshers. But uh, they've got a five x, ten x kind of a growth in their career, and the reason why they got so much of uh, growth in their career is because of the structures that we put in, and because the market is allowing it to grow. And the market there is a huge demand for uh, people, but the The problem with the current market is that the people are not available. Uh, there is a huge demand. You can get amazing job, but in order to survive in that job, you need all of this knowledge and the structure so that you are able to do it. So there is no reason why you should not take up the job. And but there is also a high demand that when you take up the job, you should also be ready for the job. And uh, as we say, uh, you know, dance play dance. You should take the chance, and you should also dance. Uh, at those chances and build a good career out of it, and this industry offers you. If you're not growing a five x to ten x in this industry in next three to four years, uh, there's nobody else to gain but us uh, because the market is very very much there for all of you. All right. So I think uh, that's what we will uh, close the session today here. But I will be very keen, so I'm leaving my message here uh, to all of you that. Uh, That's my email ID. Okay, or uh, okay. So you can drop me an email and keep Uttam also in CC on that. Okay, uh, so that all of your queries will be answered and uh, join in these courses only once you are convinced that uh, you are going to take the effort. To learn digital marketing in the right way, you are going to spend that kind of time in building it up. And as I said, there is no reason if you uh, do it well, uh, then you will be able to entice this opportunity which Indian market is allowing. And I am operating a lot in UK market, and you'll be surprised the uh, the demand that digital marketing mix has in any country. Okay, so. Uh, people and here the consulting rates are also very very high. So you can easily charge 150 to 200 uh, pounds an hour for consulting. So the market is very very big. But yes, you need to grow faster to capitalize on this because by in next two to three years the market will get crowded. All right. So I think with this I will uh, stop this session here. But I think it answered some of your queries and it also helped you understand. The delivery method that we will have. So our delivery method will constitute 30 percentage of training, but 70 percentage of this thing will be interaction between the sessions, which will be primarily uh, managed by the Professor Das uh, of IIM Calcutta in his SLTS as a whole methodology. He will be guiding us through that. And on Sunday session, you guys are free to join in again, and you will be answering most of your queries there. I hope that uh, uh, so, uh, answers a lot of queries for you. And uh, that's it from my end. I will also have to rush through now. Okay. Thank you so much to everyone for attending it. And uh, on Sunday, or uh, Uttam will send you the link. So for the Sunday session, which will be a lot more detailed session. All right. And do send us all your queries so that we can answer all of your queries. Thank you so much, everyone.